Hi, I'm Tracy Christensen. Welcome to Community Connection. Helping children and families gain a greater appreciation of literature is the mission of the Elizabeth Stewart Treehouse Museum. I'm joined today by Lynn Goodwin, who is here to tell us about all the things we can do and see at the museum. Thanks for being here. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Tell those of us who have not been to the museum what we can expect there. Well, Treehouse has been open for 23 years, and our mission all those years has been to help children and parents step into a story together. So all our exhibits have something to do with stories from around the world and from around our part of the world here in Utah, and uh, it's a really exciting, engaging place. Tell us about some of those exhibits. Well, we have a little storybook village uh, with the houses that represent different countries and inside mm -hmm. there are costumes and characters that you can meet that are in stories that children in those countries love uh, we have a wonderful American stories area a beautiful Utah area with a barn and a even a rodeo arena with horses and bulls you can ride mm -hmm. so all kinds of fun things and of course a giant tree house in the center of the museum and why is what does the tree house represent we thought it felt like a name that children would choose because it sort of represents a place where you'd want to go to read a story or to be engaged in, in a make-believe game. Uh, and that's why we built this huge 30-foot tall tree in the middle. That's neat. That's it. They are adventurous tree yes. houses and imaginative. <laughs> so talk about the exhibits and, and how hands-on activities help children learn. Well, the more engaged you are, the longer you retain the knowledge you learn. So we, we love interactive exhibits and we try to encourage parents to interact with their children. We think mentoring children uh, is really important and so we give parents clues to help them kind of help their children learn uh, together and that's memorable too. That's great. Talk about the tree house art activities you have. You bet. Uh, we have a beautiful little art garden and we try to talk about the art of a storybook and how pictures and illustrations can help to tell a story. We have illustrators that come into the museum and are there for residencies. We just had Ashley Wolf, who's a wonderful children's mm -hmm. book illustrator and author here for a while and she did a workshop for families. So we try to bring in lots of people who are inspirational for kids and parents. Fun, so lots of education and yep. play. And you also have a theater group. We do, we have a beautiful theater. And one of the fun things we do at Treehouse is let the children become the stars. We put them in costumes in what we call a participle play in the theater and they get to help act out the story directed by a Treehouse staff person. But then we do have a professional theater troupe okay. called the Treehouse Troupe and they do fairy tales, three of them every year, um, and a season of short family shows that are super fun. Bringing the literature to life. That's right. <laughs> and where can we find information online about all of the events there? You bet, on our website, we have a wonderful calendar. Um, we're doing something all the time and always something growing on at Treehouse. Um, but you can go to our website, which is treehousemuseum.org. Thank you so much for being with us and sharing all that exciting information. Yeah. If you'd like more information about events happening at the Elizabeth Stewart Treehouse Museum or any of the other organizations appearing on Community Connection, please log on to our website at kbyu11.org. Thanks for being with us and join us again on Community Connection.